See, I just did a squeeze. <laughs> That's what I'm doing inside right Don't now. pee yourself. <laughs> Go ahead, read your question. Yes, um, first of all, thank you for coming to Phoenix. It was great meeting you at your booth yesterday. Thank you. Um, my question for you is, how do you feel that science fiction as a genre is breaking ground in um, making alternate lifestyles and LGBTQ lifestyles more acceptable in the mainstream? Um, well, I think that it's, you know, and you may disagree with me on this, there's two, two kind of answers to that question. Uh, Sci-fi's been doing it for a very long time because they've done it in relationships, like if you, you can go back to the original Star Trek where, um, you know, Kirk is with the Green Lady, alright? Two different colors, da 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 da, that's the way they could get around it in those days, right? So, we've always touched on those things in sci-fi. We've always, you know, he's having sex with an alien or doing something like that. It's very different. It's the t what they would think, you know, we don't think nowadays, but that was the taboo then. The subjects you couldn't touch. So sci-fi's always had that. But what you got, what uh, a lot of people don't understand is that in American television, there, there, there are the most gay, lesbian, transgendered, and I'm, this is going to be, this new to me. What is the cue for the end? Oh, see, we don't use that word in the UK, but it's cool. So I've learned something new today. So lesbian, uh, gay, transgender, and queer. Bisexual. Sorry, I should know, shouldn't I? <laughs> My sister was right. She would text me. She'll go, "What is it now? What is what is the term today?" I'm like, "Don't ask me. I'm just gay." <laughs> so um, the. Uh, uh, with all that having been said, all of those, you know, there's the most gay people, I say gay people, are represented on American television than anywhere else in the world. Yes, we applaud, that's great, but the problem is, they're all the same type. There's nothing wrong with flouncy queens, right? Because I got some friends who are the biggest queens in the world, and I love them to death, but we're all not that way. We're all very different, as they are in every, every other section of society. We have different types. Like I was saying to that young lady earlier, that's why I wanted to be the man who sang and danced. You know, to be able to sing and dance. So, I think what we need in mainstream television to start representing gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, and queer people who are like us, and not like what everybody finds it safe to accept. Right?